Jesse here and today I'm doing a special experiment. I'm all the way over here in Roswell, New Mexico, which is famously the site of an alleged UFO crash. Back in the 40s, this, well, weather balloon, Air Force balloon, crashed in the desert out here and it wasn't long before people started saying that it was actually a UFO and the government was trying to cover something up. Well, that was the late 40s. Uh, eventually, I guess, uh, attention died out. And then for whatever reason, in the late 70s, people got really into it again. Like, oh, the government's covering something up out there. I just know it was a UFO. And then from there, it kind of went back up into the news again. A lot of conspiracy theories. Um, there was that alien autopsy video where, I don't know, you may have seen that. It came out in the 90s. Oh, we found this footage of them doing an autopsy on the aliens that crashed, blah, blah, blah. I'm really not a... I mean, I'm open-minded, but I definitely am not so egotistical as to assume that we are the only life form in the universe, but do I really believe that was a UFO? Not so much, man. But here's what I'm doing today. I thought it'd be interesting if I wore my Rachel Nevada hat in Roswell, New Mexico. Because Rachel Nevada is the town right outside Area 51, which has a little bit of its own UFO conspiracy situation going on, okay? But I just thought like, oh wow, wearing a Rachel Nevada hat in Roswell, New Mexico is kind of like wearing a Coca-Cola hat at a Pepsi factory or a Star Wars costume at a Star Trek convention. You know, just the kind of stuff I love to do. <laughs> Anyways, let's go check out Roswell and see what it's all about. Wow, look, there's all kind of crazy tourist attractions here. Woo! <laughs> This is like the main street in Roswell. It's all UFOs, nothing but UFOs all day, every day. Here's the UFO museum and research center. Definitely gonna go check that out. Then there's also a whole bunch of uh, alien invasion t-shirts. There's another alien gift shop up that way. There's all kind of alien stuff to look at here. So we definitely gotta go in and check this out, man. Look at this. Oh, fly swatter. Air freshener. I will say, having been to Rachel, Nevada, I think that Roswell has their game together just a little bit better than Rachel. If you've ever been to Rachel, it is tiny. There's like two trailers and nothing else, but that's kind of part of its charm. So it's, I'll be curious to see how this place compares. All right, I went into UFO Museum. Here's the UFO Hall of Fame. Wow, look at this. UFO debris field, 1947. Oh, it's like a little mini bas relief of the crash site. Wow, this is so cool. Look at all these. Oh, well, look. That they had a float in the Tournament of Roses 2008 parade. Cool. Oh, wow, look. Here's one of those autograph walls where everybody signs their name except for do not write on the wall. Well, why would you have a wall like this? Wow, look at all these famous people that have been here. That's, you know who that is? That's the mom from E.T. with Drew Barrymore, remember? That must be some guy from another alien movie. There's a guy from some other alien movie. I'm sorry, I don't watch a lot of movies, so I'm not sure what these movies are. There's a chick from some other alien movie. I'm gonna guess this guy has something to do with aliens. I don't know who he is. Oh, look, here's the... Alien autopsy, Wah. yikes, man, I sure would like to be at an alien autopsy. Well, maybe I'll be lucky and they'll be doing one while I'm here. Wow, so here we are, this is the lobby of the museum. And here's some of the guys from the UFO Hall of Fame. Nuclear physicist Stanton T. Friedman, he began the civilian investigation of the Roswell incident. And there's this guy, Thomas Carey. He was an investigative partner of Donald Schmidt. I guess they uh, did some investigation at the site. And look at this guy, Donald Schmidt. That's Donald Schmidt. Okay, cool. So they did all the investigations. Oh, thank you. Yeah, look, my friend, already, my friend yeah. just got me a sticker for the museum. Thank you, Mike. Here's some more guys that did alien research or UFO research. Cool. All right, well, we don't have time to look at all these dudes, although look at this guy. Very dapper. Oh, he was working at the Air Force Base, look. He was called into the hospital with questions about the child-sized caskets. Ooh, that guy knows. 
Oh man, the lady at the front desk at the museum told me I can't shoot any footage in here that's for publication, so I'm not going to be able to shoot any footage inside the museum, but I'll, I'm going to go through it and check it out, and I'll let you guys know what it was all about when I get out. I think maybe she just said that because I'm wearing this hat, you know, maybe it pissed her off. Oh well. Okay, so no video in the museum, but I'm in the gift shop now, so that should be okay. Um, the museum was cool. It had a lot of personal handwritten UFO account letters, documents, drawings, photographs, a whole library, like binders and binders full of UFO accounts. Then it had some alien statues you could pose by. And then it had like a timeline with old newspapers and, you know, pieces or replica pieces of the recovered, crashed UFO. Was it worth going into? Yeah, I think so. It was fun. I mean, it's kitschy, but it was fun. It was interesting. But let's go see uh, this gift shop here attached to the museum. It's all right, but I have a feeling be a better gift shop across the street. Let's go check. Well, if you like kitschy souvenir shops, you are in luck in this town because we got a Planet Roswell alien spacecraft store here. Right down the street, there's an alien zone. On the other side of the street, we have the Roswell UFO and alien stuff landing. And I think there might even be another alien store down that way. So we've got our work cut out for us. I don't know, I kind of like the look of this. They got this really cool diorama on the window. <laughs> it's pretty cool. R2-D2. Look at that. Oh wait, look, the Pleiadians. Whoa, I love them. Uh, too funny. Look at all this stuff. Holy cow, I better go in this store. I need a new hat. You know, if I don't want to offend people with this Rachel hat, I gotta get a, a better hat, you know what I mean? Oh, and look at this, this store would be a good one to support because look, they sponsor Brianna Lennon in the Cinderella Miniature Miss New Mexico talent show. And not only that, they also sponsor Morgan Wolfmeyer. Oh, she's adorable. How could I not support them? I'm shopping here for sure. Man, I don't know, this gift shop is weird. People gave me a weird look when I came in. I'm not sure I want to support them. And then there's all these like double windows, you know? Like, who's watching me through there? I don't know. That's kind of weird. I think I should get out of this place. Oof. All right, this place looks much better. Vacation rental, weather balloon pilot. Look at this. Oh, we're going to find so much cool stuff in here, I guarantee. Wow, look at this. Little alien trailer, huh? There's a little diorama. How cute! Oh, wait a minute. Now there's the book, UFOs and the Murder of Marilyn Monroe. What? How could those two possibly be connected? connected? That's crazy talk. Promise. Look at that little alien mm -hmm. church, or I don't know what that is. Crop Circle Manor. Casa de Alien, little alien Pueblo. Yeah, well there's Area 51. Looks like they're open to both here. Maybe I can find what I need at this store. Alright, surely if any of these stores are gonna have something good, it's gonna be this one. This one is huge. Let's see. Rachel Nevada hat. So that being said, I guess I'll just continue to represent my home state, but I will continue to enjoy all the amazing attractions that New Mexico has to offer because it's been so far an amazing experience here. Mwah.